I wanted young people in Africa to realize that these are things that we already know and we just have to find ways of doing it better. My name is Modoni Kanyana. I'm a sustainability consultant based in Nairobi. I run a firm known as MK Africa. We've been doing sustainability reporting and training for companies that are looking to create a measurable social and economic impact for the last seven years or so. An impact initiative that I started known as My Little Big Thing which is an SDGs and Sustainability Innovation Challenge for undergraduate university students. I'm looking to create an African narrative for sustainability. When I started my little big thing, Sustainability Innovation Challenge, I set out to be Africa's biggest sustainability innovation challenge. And why I started this initiative is because I realized that Africa has its own unique challenges when it comes to sustainability and climate-related issues. Sustainability has sort of come to us as a new concept. And yet, when I look at what is required for us to be able to save our planet <laughs> or to just live more responsible lives, it's things that we have done traditionally in Africa for years. And so I wanted young people in Africa to realize that these are things that we already know and we just have to find ways of doing it better. Integrity and simplicity mean a lot to me. I'm looking for solutions that are simple, things that resonate with our day-to-day -day lives and apply to everyone, you know, not, not specifically from an academic point of view. Little simple things that can make a difference. If there's but one value that I try to live by, it's that simplicity in, in doing things in a way that makes sense to everyone, to the littlest of us all. <laughs> CISL has certainly been <laughs> a great ally for me and, and especially CISL in South Africa. So I had the privilege of meeting with the CISL team and especially Elspeth Donovan about five years ago when they came to Nairobi to run a training program called the Africa Sustainability Leadership Program. And I attended this program. The thinking that I came out of that program with led me on a journey that really has just continued to grow in terms of the scope of my work, both from a business perspective and from the social impact perspective. And this has really been with a lot of support from CSL in South Africa. And of course, there's also been partners like Safaricom in Kenya. And of course, then there's personal mentorship that I've received. You actually don't know resilience until you actually live it. It's simply just getting up and showing up every single day. No matter how little confidence <laughs> you have in yourself, for that day and your abilities and even when you have a dream but don't really see how this is going to pan out so there's been times when i'm so discouraged times when i've wanted to give it all up and try something new especially because you're on a learning curve when it comes to sustainability on this continent in my country especially but it's only now that I'm seeing the light bulbs coming up and people calling me and saying, oh, is this what you've been saying the whole time? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I tried to explain this to you seven years ago. So, yeah, advice to my younger self is certainly just show up, show up, show up. Yeah.